The new coronavirus, or COVID-19, continued to capture headlines over the weekend. News of the first American deaths related to the disease confirm this is a public health challenge that is upon us. The Senate's immediate role is clear. We need to support the federal, state, and local public health officials and healthcare professionals who are working overtime to blunt, delay, and mitigate the spread of the virus. So I'm grateful that our colleagues, Chairman Shelby and Senator Leahy, along with their appropriations counterparts in the House, worked through the weekend on a bipartisan, bicameral agreement to provide supplemental appropriations for the coordinated response. It goes without saying that a challenge like this leaves no time for moving goalposts or performative outrage. The American people deserve for their Congress to meet this subject head on with a bipartisan and collaborative approach. And I'm confident that's exactly what can and will happen. I'm glad that our prospects for supplemental appropriations rest in the hands of a bipartisan group of negotiators. I would encourage my Democratic colleagues in both houses to let them do their work. It will be important to pass this first benchmark and supply these important funds within the next two weeks.